Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today for T-Shirt Tuesday, I'm showing you how to make a t-shirt in Photoshop. Now this tutorial is very basic and you won't be using any complicated tools or anything like that. We're pretty much just exploring halftones and those reasons are explained in the video. And once that's all said and done, I'll show you how to lay out a photograph on a t-shirt. Now a subscriber actually reached out to me and requested me to make more Photoshop tutorials. And because I understand that Illustrator is literally not the first program that any casual designer would download, I was more than ready to create this tutorial. So if you guys have any suggestions for T-Shirt Tuesday, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and make magic. So here we are in Photoshop, and I'm just showing you guys that this is the open. So you pretty much go to file open new and all this stuff and this is where you're at right now so what we want to do is just make a 14 by 17 document at 300 resolution you can name this or whatnot but I don't really don't name mine I just let that stuff go and just hit create and this pretty much just brings up your canvas so if you hit command R it gives you rulers and stuff like that you can go ahead and drag out your rulers I'm gonna drag one out to like one right here and then put like one down here and then i'm just gonna bring one up at the bottom at like this one right here you just kind of want to make sure that you have some borders because you don't want to protrude the actual design so i'm actually gonna put together like two designs and it's pretty simple to do now mind you I actually drew this out already so it's like pretty much ready for me to go but i'm gonna show you guys how to do this in photoshop without me you know showing you guys the reference and all that stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the line tool and we're gonna turn this into a rectangle and then we're gonna create a rectangle pretty much at the edge right here. So I think I'm gonna drag it out to maybe about like right here. As you can see, it'll pretty much like make a little purple line that just lets you know that you're in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the black stroke and I'm gonna keep that right there like that. Now with the move tool, I'm just gonna go ahead and hold alter option and just kind of bring this down some, maybe to like right here. And I'm gonna make another one and then I wanna make just one more. So we have just these four shapes here basically and I can like start doing some different things so I can hold command T and just kind of like move this around like this you know kind of bring it down like this we can just give it some type of variation make sure that it stays with inside of the actual borders though so I can kind of like keep this one right here like that that's pretty cool with this one I can just kind of you know bring it out some like this and then with this bottom one I'll just kind of like throw it down like this i can even go in with this one just kind of make it a little bit longer make it look something like this you know but as long as this looks like this this is pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and group all of that together holding command g and then i'm just gonna go ahead and double click inside which is just gonna bring up my layer styles so what i want to do now is just go into my color overlay click on it and make it white and then hit okay twice we pretty much got what we need so I'm going to go up under here and I'm just going to go ahead and add a solid color. I'm going to make this solid color black and I'm going to bring that up under the group one that I made. Now here's where things kind of get cool. This is kind of just a small effect. You can put this on like the front of your t-shirts. You don't have to do this for like the back or anything. But you just go into the type tool and we'll pretty much just start typing out Chicago. And then actually I'm going to turn it black because I don't want it to be, you know, white. And then move that into like over here like this. It doesn't have to stretch out to the entire shape. It can be something like this. We can go ahead and hit duplicate and then bring that down some. And then kind of bring it over like this. Want to kind of keep it consistent with the art that we're doing so... I think I'm going to stretch this one out just a little bit like this. And we'll put this as CA. And we'll bring it up like that. I think I like it right here like this. Then we'll alt an option, make another duplicate, and then bring that down here to the bottom. And we'll put GO. And that pretty much just spells out Chicago. So I'm going to turn off the back layer, which is this fill layer. And I want to put all of this into a group. Now with this group, I'm just going to go ahead and convert this to a smart object. And then clip that to that actual group that's up under it. Now, because this group has like a color overlay on it, what I have to do is just go ahead and turn this into a smart object as well. And then it'll do something like that. And it doesn't stop here. I mean, we can add like another little element right here that says 708. And because it's inside of that clipping mask over here, it's just going to clip to that actual white, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do now is just put like some textures in here real quick and we're going to move forward. So now that we have that, I want to start making the back side of this. So I'm just going to put all of this into one group. I'm going to name that front. And I'm going to close this out. Now we're going to bring up those rulers again. And I just want to start making the back. So I'm going to take just this line right here and just kind of make, you know, just a small little box. 
and that looks good there so what i'm gonna do now is hold alter option and just kind of bring that one over here to the side like this and now i'm gonna take this alter option again and then kind of bring this one down to the bottom but this time i'm gonna transform this one so holding command and hitting t it's going to transform this one all the way down to like this side over here like this and as a matter of fact i might scale this up to like the 14th line so the 14th ruler and then i'll hold alter option again and just bring this down just a little bit like right here now i know that was kind of fast you guys but it's basically just making copies and just kind of moving it around you know so once you start figuring out how to use photoshop i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know how to use photoshop but once you really start figuring out how to use it you'll get a whole lot faster in it now i just want to take this line again right here the one that i made the smaller line off of and just move a copy of it back up to like maybe this four right here and now i'm just pretty much ready to start doing my text so i'm just going to go ahead and turn this white real quick before i start typing out anything and i just want to make this maybe a 72 72 points as a matter of fact i can even go 144 and i'm gonna type out shy town and that looks pretty cool right there i'm gonna go ahead and put in this center right here a c okay and with this c i think i'll just kind of transform it up to maybe something maybe this large right here as a matter of fact i can even go larger so maybe about like right here so this can be the back but i want to do something a little special so i like the way this is looking uh, i can do some extra things to it and i will but i want to show you guys just a little neat trick real quick before i even go into that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to file and i'm gonna go into open and now i want to go into my downloads and i just want to bring up this pexel image that i kind of downloaded already now this is just a picture of chicago all right i'm gonna hit okay and this is pretty much it so this is downtown chicago this is pretty much that one little theater right there it's pretty awesome this is downtown so you guys come to chicago come hang out with me sometime let me know if you come in because i definitely like to go downtown and stuff like that but what we want to do is we want to take this and make it into a half tone because we're not going to be able to print any type of t-shirt with a picture on it if we wanted to take this into a screen printing shop they're gonna have problems with just this picture because you know it's a bunch of different colors a bunch of different gradients and all that stuff it's not gonna work out so we just want to turn this into a half tone picture so the way we go about this is to go into image at the very top go down to mode and then go to grayscale what i'm gonna do is just bring up the levels just a little bit and just kind of darken out the shadows and bring up the highlights now we're going to go back into image and we're going to go to mode and then bitmap and you pretty much want to set your stuff up like this so if input is like 300 dots per inch your output needs to be 300 dots per inch okay and you just want to use the half tone screens just hit okay and now that we have that just go ahead and set your things up like this so frequency 53 all right angle i'm just going to say 45 let's just go ahead and use the ellipse shape all right so it's just going to be a nice little circle for every little gradient every little pattern everything that you see on this it's just going to be 45 degrees on the shape of an ellipse and we'll just hit okay now zoomed in you can see all of this like you can see all these dots and stuff like that but zoomed out it just looked like a normal picture you wouldn't see any differences or anything like that which is awesome so what we want to do is just go ahead and go back into image go back to mode and then turn this back into a grayscale and then hit okay now we want to go back to mode and go back down to rgb color or whatever color that you had going on and then let that go and this is just something extra that i like to do i like to unlock the layer and i like to just go ahead with the magic wand and click on the white now with the white selected i can just go ahead and put a layer mask on this and then invert it and this is what we get and that's pretty awesome because when you zoom in we have all these dots or whatnot and they're just blacks they're just blacks they're not gray scales or anything like that it's just all black which is awesome so what we want to do is just go ahead and hit command j and then turn off the original layer because you know i just like to be safe like that and then convert that to a smart object now i'm gonna hold command and click inside of this smart object and then i want to go to edit copy and then hit command d now back on my original art i'm just gonna go ahead and bring up a new layer and hit command v which is just gonna paste all of that in and now i just want to scale that up some like this as you can see it has that halftone image that we're looking for just kind of making sure that it's on top of that c and all the important elements of it are in that c so i can make sure that i can get this chicago in right there like that and then i can make a copy of it holding down alter option and just kind of bringing it over like this and i just want to put that into one layer so i'm gonna hit command g and then turn this into a smart object as well and then hey look at this 
turn this into a clipping mask where it's only on that C. And then with this group, I just want to make some textures. So I'm going to bring in the texture that I used for the front one and just put that in here somewhere. So just kind of drop that in like that. And I want to scale it up some. Now holding down control, just clicking, I'm just going to go ahead and make this a clipping mask and put that on the shy town And with that tweak, now we got some texture on top of this. So what I want to do now is just kind of finish this out. So I'm just going to put 708 over here like this. Kind of scale this up to like 48 points and just kind of move this into the center of that. So, And then also with the shy town I just want to fix the kerning. So I'm just going to go ahead and click inside of it. And just holding down Alt and using like the left and right keys, I can move the eye over just a little bit. So that looks good right there. As a matter of fact, I might want to move over like the O and the N as well. We don't want these touching in any type of way. Now I'm just going to go ahead and Command J on that 708. And I'm just going to bring this up over here to this side like this and i'm gonna type out illinois and then bring that over here like this to where it lines up like that and then i'm gonna take that down here to the bottom and i'm gonna type out windy city and then put that in the middle like this and then as one final element before i close all of this down i'm just gonna go ahead and type out 312 in black of course and then kind of scale that up and then kind of turn it off onto its side like this i just want to bring this up on my layers panel above group four and it gives you something like that now because this is on a clipping mask like i said before i can turn off all of my elements and it's not protruding the design which is what we want and with that final tweak we finished this design so half toning is a technique that literally saves you money. I wanted to elaborate more on this concept because I've actually been a victim to this. You want to create a document that your screen printer can easily create screens with. And with that process, you can get more in depth and explore new things. So if you guys like this when you learn something new, but you're not subscribed, then consider subscribing and liking. And if you would like me to do more half toning processing, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.